2003 Proton Waja 1.6 standard manual. The official car for fresh grads who still rely on their parents when it comes to the real world, like rental and servicing. The Proton Waja is Malaysia's first homegrown car, and when it was launched in 2000, Proton was still fairly young at 15 years. This car marked the first transition where Proton went from being a Mitsubishi rebadge to a Mitsubishi wannabe. In 2000, Proton was dominating the market. Everywhere you see on the road, it's Protons, Protons, and another Proton. Hail a taxi, it's a Proton. Look on your left and your right, it's a Proton. They held the majority of the car market share with sales reaching more than 200,000 in 2002. You could get a Proton for anything. You want a cheap family saloon? Get an Iswara. Want a cheap luxury car? Get a Padana. Want something to appease your dreams of owning a rally fighter? Get a Wira and turn it into a Lancer Evolution. There's a Proton for everyone, even if they are mostly four-door saloons. So, in 2000, when the Waja was launched, you can tell most Malaysians felt proud. We have a car designed by Malaysians and even has a strong name, Waja, which means strong in Malay. In the UK, this was called the Impian to symbolize the Malaysian dream. But that's about as Malaysian as it can go, because underneath it, the Proton shares a chassis with the Mitsubishi Charisma, and wait for it, the Volvo S40. That's the closest Proton has a collaboration to- oh, Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Hey! Volvo now owned by Geely, right? They also own Proton, that means- Fuck! The Waja is powered by a 1.6 liter single cam 4G18 Mitsubishi Orion engine, which produces 102 horsepower. Now I know 102 horsepower sounds very little, but don't let that number fool you. This car can really go. That Lotus tuned suspension and handling makes this car move faster than it really should. I've heard of people moving this thing up to 160 km per hour and even if there is a little cheat where you use an EC where you upgrade the ECU and you can even go up to 180 or even 200 km per hour. But even at maximum legal highway speed, which is 110 km per hour in Malaysia, this car is pretty stable. Probably due to all that weight. The Waja is a very heavy car at nearly 1.2 tons. Later models feature a 1.8 liter Renault engine, a 1.6 liter Campro, and an upgraded Campro CPS, with the last one producing 125 horsepower. But let's get back to the ride, and it really is good. This Waja comes with a manual, which is how you should enjoy the car, even though most of the Wajas that apparently are available, secondhand, they're all in automatic. The clutch is a bit high, but once you get used to it, it really is a fun car to drive. Proton once boasted of being the Malaysian BMW with the sporty handling, but like BMWs, it has a lot of issues. Now speaking of BMW, the interior is definitely inspired by them, with it being designed so driver focused to the point that front passengers can't even get the air conditioning. The front passenger aircon is pretty useless actually, so Proton redesigned the center aircon to make it circular, and that ruins the design of it. This car is as unoriginal as it gets when it comes to early Protons. Because that's what most Malaysians are, lazy and unoriginal. That's just the beginning of the issue. This car has gone nearly 260,000 kilometers since new in 2003, and the owner got it from his dad, who upgraded it for a much better car. Engine-wise, it's still fine mechanically, but everything else shows the downside of buying a Proton. Unlike the Almera, this thing isn't really reliable when it comes to fuel economy because of its huge weight. You get better fuel economy from a tractor than this. There's the electric windows that do not work. This one's front windows are still operating, but the owner's dad has actually fixed it multiple times to count as well. This Waja and the Wira were notorious for power window failure. Another issue is the door handles, which can easily break. Most of this happened on the left rear door, and the owner's dad has actually replaced it so many times we have actually lost count. So it's actually not surprising to see Wajas with mismatched door handles like it's an art piece. So it's a problematic car from the get go, but if you maintain it properly, this thing runs like a German tank. Proton even had a million kilometer engine warranty for the Waja. If you're a Malaysian, you've probably never heard of it before, because it's only for the Australians. Mechanically, the Proton Waja is a sound car. And like every Proton made in its first 20 years, Proton milked the shit out of it. It even had a limousine version called the Chancellor. The Waja went on production until 2011 with nearly 300,000 sold throughout. 
But times have changed. Proton isn't controlling the market share like it used to in 2003. 2003 was also the year where Proton's grip on the market started to drop to less than 50%. Most of Proton's cars to sold today are even designed in-house to mix results. But the Waja will always remain a pioneer. The start to another change in the Malaysian car industry.